Stephen Bailey. Hi. You all right? Guys, this is going to be such a gear shift because that last lot of stuff was really, really smart and I've just got dick jokes and a dream. Um, so if you're not into it, I'm literally fucked. And thank you for that introduction. You bellend. Um, can I just find out who's in really quick? Can all the men give me a chair? Hi, boys. Hello. And sleep. Um, ladies, can you give me a chair? Yes. Thank God you're here. I need you the most. Um... Any gays? Oh, lady gays, there's nothing I can do with it, but I'll give it a whirl. Um, I'm an equal opportunist, and it's 2017. Uh, I will say, though, I am thrilled to be here, because I was doing gigs in Glasgow in December, right? And I went out there, and I was like, where are my gays? And this voice at the back of the room just went, dead! Um, <laughs> So that was nice, um, and that's what's nice about being with you like artsy farty lot, it's like oh you'll find everything like funny, um, they're like oh it's drama, um, I was like when I walked into a black box I was like oh Stephen you're screwed again, um, last time I was in a black box it involved steam and other gays quite frankly, um, gay sauna joke, um, <laughs> Right, and I will say, but honestly, like, because I'm from Manchester, so it's nice to be home. <laughs> and, um... Because <laughs> we get to do, like, we get to go to a lot of shitholes, like, doing this as an actual job, right? I was recently in Blackpool, which I'm sure you know. Yeah, yeah so you know what it's like? It's kind of like Las Vegas meets Chernobyl. It's not good. <laughs> And what I like is when we go to all these different places, you are all very different as a crowd. Like, here, you're a very attractive bunch in Manchester. In Blackpool, they have this policy that's teeth optional. And um, they fucking do. So when they're laughing, like, I can see your beautiful teeth, man. In Blackpool, it's, like, very gummy. It's like, stay back, demons! Um, and they're spitting all over your face when they're laughing and not in the good I've been out with the gays on a Saturday night kind of way. Um, oh, buckle up. This won't be like the Lion King, motherfuckers. It's dick jokes. It is dick jokes. Um... And I'll tell, you, so I'll tell you a few things about me, right? One of the things I do when I'm not doing this, I really love you, madam. Um, I really, really do. Um, are you a vegan? Oh, you just got the type. Um, no, I'm really into it. I shouldn't insult you. you you're, you've got a... Shut up. Um, and <laughs> one of the things I do when I'm not doing this, I had to do warm-up for that TV show, Loose Women. Do any of you watch it? Yeah, so a few of you don't work, that's fine. Um, no, that's a lifestyle choice, it keeps me in these suits. Um, and I actually met Jane McDonald, one of the presenters, about a couple of years ago, and I was moaning to Jane, be like, Jane, like, why am I not more famous? Like, why do more people not know my name? And she was like, sweetheart, don't worry about it, dreams do come true. She's like, look at me, I'm a loose woman, I'm selling out theatres. And I was like, I'm as shocked as you are, Jane. Um, <laughs> don't start me on Jamelia either, that is one thick bitch. Um, <laughs> And I met Jane, so we're on this show, and it's on Channel 5, and it's called The Right Stuff. And for those of you who haven't seen it, The Right Stuff is this early morning, like, news and current affairs show. And Matthew Wright, the host, he loves everything flamboyant, so it used to get a bit tedious for me, because it's going to, like, say, five or six in the morning. And it just always felt like he was being a bit like... Like, to be honest with you, it felt like he was being a bit like, um... Do something, camp. Do something, camp. <laughs> so I fucked him. Um... <laughs> I didn't, 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 he's straight unmarried, he's straight unmarried, he fucked me. Um, 